Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we also get a new version of the Brave web browser for desktop. So if you are using Brave, time to double check your browser's up to date. As this um, is quite a major release, bumping the browser up to version 1.50 from 1.49, which rolled out on the 5th of April. So that was late yesterday in my region. Now, um, at first with Web3, so that's basically um, to do with um, your wallet and all that goes on with your wallet with crypto and um, there's a whole lot of add-ons updates fixes too many to mention in this video so if you want any more info on that just head to your release notes and i'll show you how to do that shortly if you don't know how to get the re to the release notes and um, brave rewards has also received um two improvements now what would really be of interest um to most users would be your general section under the release notes where Brave has said um, they've added a new flag, Brave Sync Send All History, which is a flag to enable the ability to send all history entries to Brave Sync. And as many of you know, um, Brave uses a sync chain. So um, that's a new flag if you want to experiment with that, a Brave Sync Send All History flag. And then if you are using the browser on Mac OS, they've um, added a mute tab to the application menu, which I think would be a great move if you are using the browser on that platform. And then I think that basically the key highlight for this um, latest update, if you are using a battery powered device like a laptop like I am, if you head to your settings and you scroll down to system, we've got a new performance section or what Brave is saying, a power section, which is very similar to what we get in the Google Chrome web browser for desktop where um, you can toggle on memory saver when on Brave frees up memory from inactive tabs. So this is very similar to your sleeping tabs you get in the Edge browser. Uh, this gives active tabs and other apps more computer resources and keeps Brave fast. Your inactive tabs automatically become active again when you go back to them. And you can also add, always keep these sites active. So very similar to what we have over in the Google Chrome web browser. And then you get your power energy saver when on brave conserves battery power by limiting background activity and visual effects such as smooth scrolling and video frame rates and um, obviously you have your two options there and i've chosen the option turn on when my computer is unplugged so you'll only see this though if you have a battery powered device your new performance section and then there is a new uh, keyboard shortcut um, for once again, Mac OS, um, and um, if there's a new keyboard shortcut to show and hide the sidebar, and uh, um, that's Command and B on a Mac OS. So Command and B will now hide the sidebar. And uh, um, if we head to the sharing menu uh, in the uh, address bar, there's a new screenshot, which is now uh, a featured by default. So basically that just lets you take a screen capture of your screen and you can download that for future reference. Also very similar to what we have going on uh, in the Google Chrome web browser because obviously Brave is based on the open source Chromium platform as well. And then as you can see, if you have downloaded something now, you get the download bubble, which is also now there by default. And it's moved the download away from the bottom, from the shelf, and now we get the download bubble. And now you can um, show in folder you can open, uh, go straight to that download uh, location and you can also show all downloads. So a new download bubble and hub in the top right when you are downloading now in Brave version 1.50. And then um, just another one or two quick mentions. Um, they've now implemented HTTPS by default. And that's just basically a more secure connection. And uh, they've also rolled out about seven bug fixes where um, they have fixed excessive CPU. So that's uh, central processing unit usage. So if you have experienced high CPU usage, that should be addressed with this update. And then the big one here, they've upgraded the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on, to the latest version, version 112. And um, that includes a whole lot of important security updates. So to double check, you have this update for Brave. We head to our menu, as always. Click on About Brave. And uh, this process will force the update if it hasn't done so already. And the browser is updated to version 1.50.114. And the Chromium platform is now on 112.0.5615.49. And that's exactly the same now as the Google Chrome web browser, which does include 16 security fixes. And there's no mention of any um, 
exploits in the wilds or zero days, but there are two high-risk vulnerabilities that have been addressed, so always important to double-check. Uh, your browser is uh, is up to date uh, just because of the security aspect of things as it is your first line of defense, as I always say, to the online world. And over and above that, um, over and above the high-risk vulnerabilities that have been addressed, we get a couple of medium and also some lows. So 16 security fixes have rolled out for the uh, Brave web browser for desktop to the Chromium platform. And if you want any more info, you can just click on the version, which will take you over to the release notes. And as mentioned, this is to do with Web3, lots going on with Web3 and the wallet and so on, where you can just check that up and also Brave Rewards. So that's more or less what is new in um, Brave version 1.50. As mentioned, the key highlight I would suggest would be that power feature now in the system menu. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.